Hey everybody, Breaking the Flaw here. I want to share this article to you. This comes from the Law Enforcement Today dot com, and uh, very interesting story. I actually got this uh, uh, forwarded to me uh, from Ridley Report. Uh, I saw his post on Facebook, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So a county creates an act that will let police arrest feds who violate Second Amendment. Don't try that here. Yerma, don't try that here. Good. This is great because this really shows that uh, the, the police are on our side in one way, that they're going to exercise their Tenth Amendment rights in the states and keep the feds out. Or anyone who's not from that state, really. So good. Uh, I hope this means that the cops are really on our side when it comes to this stuff. We're going to find out where this is in a second. Newton County, Missouri. Well, this is unexpected. A number of counties within the United States have passed various iterations of Second Amendment sanctuary laws or declarations in the event that there are federal laws ever to be passed that encroach the right to bear arms. Just like in Rhode Island, uh, many towns, basically half the state, like physically half the state, not pop, uh, population-wise, but have... Uh, declared sanctuary uh, towns and cities, which is amazing. But Newton County in Missouri has taken that concept and furthered the coverage in their own version of a Second Amendment Sanctuary Act that was recently passed. Here we are, guys. Enforcement of... Blocks federal enforcement of unconstitutional gun policies, which is basically any gun policy, any gun laws. So maybe they need to remember that part. Uh, the Missouri County authorizes arrest of feds who violate sec the Second Amendment. What makes Newton County's iteration so unique is that it endows the sheriff with the authority to enact arrests of federal agents. Of course they do. They have the right to arrest anybody that breaks the law. No one is exempt. Who do, what, what do they assume that they were exempt beforehand? Hell no. What do these people think they are? The Second Amendment Preservation Act of Newton County, Missouri. Is this a video of this? No, it's not. All federal acts, laws, orders, rules, and regulations passed by the federal government, and specifically any presidential administration, whether past, present, or future, which infringe on the people's right to keep and bear arms as guaranteed by the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution, Article 1, Section 23 of the Missouri Constitution, shall be invalid in the county, shall not be recognized by this county, and specifically rejected by this county, and shall be considered null and void and of no effect in this county. Ooh. I wonder if they support the NRA, though, guys. Because uh, that, that would be pretty funny. And here's uh, what they deem to be null and void of enforcement. Any form of taxes on, on firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition that fall outside the realm of being common to, the, to all other goods and services. National registries of firearms, accessories, or ammunition. Good. They're getting rid of registry. National registries of firearm owners. Confiscation of firearms, accessories, or ammunition that affect law-abiding citizens. I mean, they're probably using the restriction of com convictions. But even convicted people still have constitutional rights, even though they tried to you know, make you sign contracts and everything. It's all bullshit. It's all fluff. You still have all those all those rights. They're inalienable. Even criminals have those rights, unfortunately. In some ways or another, according to the law, they do. And generally, any act, present or future, passed by Congress and signed into federal law that infringes on the Second Amendment. Good. Good, guys. This is good. And they go more into detail, I guess. Of the law, literally, that's what they're saying. They go into more detail into the playbook and everything. Alright, 
That's great, guys. That's some pretty good news. Was that the part more of the article? I can't tell. Basically, somewhat mirroring how New York has barred their own law enforcement agencies from assisting ICE in their endeavors. All right, yeah, that's a good thing that New York did. They can deal with it on their own. I'd rather have, you know, one step uh, closer to, you know, state independence and secession would be removing the police force away from federal funding and federal rules and regulations. The states can decide that all on their own. You know, there's national accreditation programs out there. A private company. We don't need the government to accredit the police. The These private companies can accredit the police. It's an amazing thing, right? Imagine if the police were private. With these, you know, accreditations that the public... Uh, can decide what is uh, accreditable or not, what is, you know, good practices as a police force. That's how it should be set up, not by the federal government. And, of course, they do it so they can get their bear cat and everything, right? So it says here, specifically... Section 4A of the Newton County Ordinance grants the Sheriff's Department full authority to make an arrest of any and all federal agents that violate state laws and enforce regulations that violate the Second Amendment. I'm so proud. Who said that? Fenrir? uh, Red Wolf Menace? I guess, uh, yeah. All right, guys, that's, that's amazing, right? Yeah, they they go they're they're digging into more of the law, which is really good because it that's what's important. Like once once the you know the laws get muddied up by uh, all these unconstitutional laws, it gets confusing in the courts, and the judges really don't know what to do. And it can go any way. That's how they set it up. And other news related to the Second Amendment, the state of New Mexico has recently seen some introduced legislation that could caused some severe headaches and criminal liabilities for firearm owners within the state. And here's a previous report about it. You guys can get over there and read this if you'd like. Um, I Yeah, th- this is great, though. Here we go. Uh, New Mexico Shooting Sports Association. Mandatory firearm storage laws are back in 2021, but... SB 222 for all these stupid laws, guys, whatever, would also make it a crime to teach your child how to shoot a gun unless they had already taken a formal class. So now you can't teach your kids. The government has to teach your kids, and the government's going to prevent you from teaching your kids. Disgusting. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, listening in to my Justice News Now. On the Breaking the Flaw channel. Looks like at the top of the screen I got some uh, cell phone one alerts. I'm going to have to take a look at them. Check out cell phone one. All right, guys. Peace out. Thank you, guys. Yo, man, you got to see that bum off here? Yeah. Free Talk Live. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah, right. yeah I'll take your like. I'll buy your lungs, too. Yeah, man. Uh, what you wish then to there? Oh, this? This is Free Talk Live. You never heard of them? You, know, you can call in. You can say whatever you want, man. It's free talk, free speech. Hell yeah. Yeah, isn't that cool? Hell yeah, that's what's up. I'll check them out. Thanks for the sick, man. I appreciate it. No problem. <laughs>